Pop in the tape, man. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. You know, uh, that reminds me of, of a little bit of work you did. And uh, when you had children in your record. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That, uh, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what record? Do you remember? It was. Uh, oh, class. The Sister yeah, Mary yeah, Elephant. Sister Mary Elephant. Class. 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 And would you, who, what kids did you get to record? My kids, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Robbie Ray Dawn and her friends, right? And her friends, old Carol King's uh, daughter. Oh, Carol! Oh, really? One of the one of the Goffin, one of the Goffin girls was uh -huh. in it. And, uh, there's a few people from Laurel Canyon. You know, the so kids. they did. So did they come to the studio, or did you just bring the mic? Nah, I believe they came to the studio. Uh -huh. uh, they were at the studio, and they they had a session. Lou Adler produced it. Oh, he did. Know? He did. And so Lou, you know, would always. Uh, uh, you know, include all his Hollywood friends. Cause, oh, cool. Because he was connected. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. Uh, yeah, it's on my iPad. I've been watching a lot of iPad lately. <laughs> but you, specifically YouTube? And my phone. And your phone. But YouTube. Yeah. You go well, I YouTube. guess it's YouTube. I don't know. YouTube's good. Yeah, no. I, I okay. Love, I love my channel. So you had a did. story you wanted to tell me, and it was a pretty fantastic story. About the, about the bear? Tell us, tell us. Man, it, it was a freaky. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I guess it was YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm looking for something to watch, and all of a sudden, this, like a nature show comes on, uh -huh. and the guy's voice is saying, you know, this incident that happened in a national park. Uh, in the Rockies, I think, or somewhere yeah. where there's black bears. Right. Anyway, this ranger uh, that worked in the Forest Service, he was out on parole and, you know. Patrol, checking, patrol. Patrol, and he's looking around. and He, he might be out on p parole, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ended up that way. <laughs> so go on. So he sees this bear, and the bear's holding an infant by the, by the, 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 the clothes. In his mouth. Like how old? And, and it's a baby, like a, a, a baby, like an 18 like, month baby, something like oh that. <laughs> and the baby, it, it's, on, it's on the YouTube or something somewhere. <laughs> and the baby's kind of looking at it because he showed pictures, I guess, of a they, train they, bear. Or they something. reenacted it, right? Yeah, reenacted it because the bear's kind of holding the kid <laughs> and, and the ranger freaked. Oh, so, yeah, I think I so freaked. He freaked. Too. He looked at, and he gets on the phone and he phones it in and everything uh -huh. else, you know. And he's expecting you know all sorts of reinforcements to come uh -huh. and everything else. No one comes. And then oh, he gets God. a call. He gets a call that uh, he had to come down to the station. And was the bear still there? Where, where did the bear? Go? No, the bear disappeared. The bear with the baby. <laughs> with the baby, the, he appeared, looked at the guy, and then he, I guess, he took off, and the uh, and the ranger. Followed for a while, and then he went back. And then he phoned his phoned it in, and everything else. <laughs> but anyway, they thought he was hallucinating. Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh my god! There it is! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> and but nobody would believe him. Why wouldn't they believe him? Because they thought he was hallucinating. Or oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! But. Why? Out of all the things to hallucinate, you could say I, I saw a Sasquatch or something like that, but you don't. That's what I'm saying. A baby, because there was no report of a missing baby or, <laughs> okay. or anything else. Okay. okay, so so they that's what the Rangers had. They had nothing to go on. So and they just they just said so you're they, crazy. They fired him. Oh <laughs> they my suspended God. him. He was not allowed in the forest and all that stuff. And and it was the, was he pleading his case? Oh, like crazy! So he, he no, he, there's a baby. So <laughs> he grabbed a buddy. He grabbed a buddy and uh, and he went up. Looking, looking for the baby. That's a crazy reenactment. Like, I don't care if it's like I don't care how trained a bear is. You're gonna give your little baby to a bear to carry. That's 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 hardcore, man. Those be those must be some mountain. I, that's a mountain family. Uh, oh, so oh, so tell man. tell us what happened. So so anyway, he found a ranger buddy that would kind of believe him. Uh -huh. Yeah, believed him. He talked him into it. He said uh -huh. it really happened. So they went looking for it, and they found the bear. Uh -huh. And then, so they followed the bear, 
And but no bear, baby yet. No baby. No baby. Right. But they followed the bear into the cave, uh -huh. a big, big ass cave. And that's when he heard. And, and then they split up. Like when a they bear saw, cave. When they saw the bear, they split up. The one ranger went somewhere and, and he followed the bear. And he knew this was the bear. Yeah, yeah. He, he recognized the bear. He followed the bear. And then he heard a baby <laughs> crying in, in the cave. Holy shit. And so he goes down into the cave and there's the baby. And he grabs the baby. And just as he's coming out of the cave, he comes across the bear. The bear is there. But the bear looks at him and takes a couple of steps and falls over because he had been tranquilized by the rangers. Wow. That the ranger that went back, his buddy went back. He got the time, I wonder what would have happened. I wonder if he would have protected the baby or the bear would have protected the baby by killing the ranger. I think the bear probably would have said, it's about fucking time, man. <laughs> but, I've been carrying around this baby for a month now. And what's wrong with you? So guys? was the baby hurt? Was it? No. And it's always, okay, the end of the story, uh, the guy gets reinstated. Wait, 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 wait. How long was, how long did this uh, bear have this baby? A couple of days, I guess. So the, so the baby's been like drinking and. and they, the, somehow the, the, the bear fed it. <laughs> like a, like a cub, like might, with, it, with, with his tit, like, it might have. Like, do you think? Do you think? It, do you think a bear nursed the baby? I don't think. I don't. I think they all signed an NDP, you know, non disclosure. <laughs> Holy shit! So so what, what 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 was the end of the story? Well, the end of the story was well, what they did. They they when they searched the area, they found uh, a car wreck where the parents. Were, were dead in the car. That's why the baby was uh, alive, I guess. Like, the I fucking came, told you, man. <laughs> and, the, and the bear came up and, and, uh, and, and found the, the baby, I guess. Somehow, I don't know. Did, 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 the, did the bear munch on the, the, the mom and dad at they all? They didn't or? say. Oh. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Maybe. So it must I, have been like a well-fed bear, obviously. A, mom, a mama bear. <laughs> but but well fed right yeah, like because yeah, yeah. and maybe maybe that bear couldn't have children <laughs> and, and 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 this bear you know found this baby and was like this will do this will be my little bear cub <laughs> what what if the, what if it raised what if it raised the bear like like a few years and and they found the baby like five six years old we would have know? a new superhero I know right we'd have a, the, the beginning of the, we found like K Khabib Nur Nurmagomedov, you know, we the, found the, Sasquatch, you know, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the, the uh, MMA fighter. Oh, yeah. You know, they, they have pictures of him wrestling a bear when he's a kid. You know, <laughs> have you seen that? No. The videos of him. He's wrestling a bear. And that's what it reminded me of. Like, look, oh, that's that's when he's older. But they have they have shots when he's like a little kid wrestling a bear. So maybe he would maybe would have been a, like a real strong MMA fighter if he just stuck with the bear. Yeah. So in the end, what what was the very end of the story? Well, the very end, they uh, uh, they found out why the baby was there because the parents had been killed in a car wreck close by, and then uh, uh, and just discovered then, and and so the 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 ranger that found the the bear and the baby, and his wife uh, were trying to have a baby, and there it is. They adopted the baby. Oh no shit! Yeah. That's an amazing story, man. Yeah. They got to do a movie like that. It could be instead of Cocaine Bear, like Baby Bear. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Cocaine Bear yet? No. I heard it's funny. Rama saw it. She liked it. She I, loved it. She I thought have, it was funny. A, I got to catch up on this. It's on there. I haven't been. I've been. I watched Third Rock from the Sun today. Yeah, you're addicted to old sitcoms. Huh? Oh man, God, they're the best <laughs> because they're so inappropriate. <laughs> then I watched. Uh, I watched uh, uh, Dean Martin roast. Uh, and they roasted Valerie Harper, uh -huh. and and it was like uh, that's when Red Buttons and uh, and Milton Berle were the funniest guys up on yeah. the stage, almost yeah. you know, Nipsey Russell, mm -hmm. so inappropriate. I mean, <laughs> their the language just and like sexist and uh, racist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, oh, and then uh, Two and a Half Men. Uh -huh. I was watching Two and a Half Men, and Stacy <laughs> comes over. Uh, <laughs> the 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 story is so funny, Alan. Uh -huh. uh, no, Charlie. It's Char Charlie. Charlie is uh, is uh, fiance. Uh -huh. Parents are coming, and Charlie doesn't want to 
have to deal with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's to fly out to meet him? Yeah. And so, he, because he has a colonoscopy appointment, you know, someone to look up, put a camera up his yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so rather than to meet the parents, he faked like he had a colonoscopy. And so the girlfriend says, well, I'll drive you. And so now Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got to go get a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so he does. And, he has, and Alan is trying to tell <laughs> what's it like because Charlie never had one before. <laughs> Oh, a very funny story. Right. But anyway, Stacy plays a racist <laughs> dad because uh -huh. even though Stacy Keach, huh? Stacy, Stacy Keach. Stacy Keach, yeah. Oh, uh, Stadenko. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a classic uh, bit. Yeah. Him being the, the bigot, and yeah. the, and the mum's a bigot too. It's real funny. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> that, that cat, there's also. <laughs> you, we, we had a few cats, and you still have some cats. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we had a really good one, Cinnamon. Yeah, the original and, uh, Cinnamon? Yeah, when we, we brought her up and brought her. It, was it a girl or a boy? I can't tell with cats. They were fixed. They were fixed. neutered. Oh, so anyways, we, we brought him up to Canada when we moved up there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> and she, he was funny because you did a bit about cats, right? Like, yeah. what would you do? Well, I, I, was, I used to talk about how uh, dope, smoking dope is good for you. you know, I know because my cat likes to get high. <laughs> and, and cats are real finicky creatures, you know. Like, like if you don't feed them the right thing yeah. or if it's, not picky. A, if it's not freshly caught bird uh -huh. you know, they're really finished. so how did you know your cat liked to get high well I, I, let's see whenever you smoked a bong hit right no no what how, how did i get him high? i thought when when the, when you when he she when he heard the the bong hit sound <laughs> she would be right next to you <laughs> hey man give me a hit <laughs> Yeah, well, he got addicted to yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, well, oh, well, that's right. Cinnamon, our, <laughs> the bong, my bong cat. Yeah, he loved to get high, man. Is it bad to get your pets high? Uh, yeah. I remember yeah. Captain got into some edibles one time, the little poodle. And, uh, and he kept falling over? No, he just kind of sat, sat there and just like, like, <laughs> did, did like this thing. Just, and, and when he made it, he, he made it, you know. It happens, right? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, back in the day with the cowboy, in the cowboy days, mm -hmm. they had a thing, they called it local weed. Mm -hmm. Or the Mexican called it. Oh, right, weed. right, right. Local the weed. wild weed, right? And so it was a hemp, you know, uh -huh. growing wild. And the horses used to get into it, uh -huh. and the, and the animals would get into it, and they act really weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, that that yeah. reminds me of like you know in India they got alcohol they got uh, 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 monkeys that are like alcoholics. Oh, they yeah, are. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they and they and they like they need it, you know, like like oh. they're drinking every day. Where they get it from the fermented fruit. I think it maybe started there, but they, they they go and hang out where the guys are drinking, and they, they go steal the bottle. No, the Steelers are drinking it. Oh, yeah. When I was in Bali, this... Uh, they act like little fucking drunk. Oh, people. man. Mean ones, too. This In Bali, we're hanging out by the pool, and, and, and the, the monkey comes up and grabs his beer, looks at me, pounds the whole thing, <laughs> and then just sh shatters it on the floor and was like, ah! Man, I would have given it to you. You didn't have to break the bottle, dude. No, <laughs> like, that, that's, mo that's monkey talk for you. Oh, you a new motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you never seen this yeah. act before. All right, here's the Island Boys. Island Boy, and I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an Island Boy. I, I'm a just Island Boy. 
I'm a just island boy. Ooh. I'm a get cute going. You're gonna keep that gun. Uh. I'll be just staring at the sun. I'm just out full gazing. I'm like, well, pull where I'm staying. They're like, you wanna be famous. I'm trying to be out the greatest. I'm gonna float all boy. I got a real damn tropic. I'm like, the dumb, I'm the top. I like these guys. I don't know why they get so much shit. Who are you they? Know? The island boys. Well, obviously, two. they're the island <laughs> they're boys. They're called the island boys. They're two brothers. They're, they're from Florida, I think. And they shot this little bit, and it went viral. And I guess people were kind of making fun of them. Because they're white guys? Yeah, kind of. kind of Being natives. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, that's cool. But, but they're, I think they're, you know, they're, they're doing their thing, man. They're doing know? good. Yeah. Like the Beastie Boys. <laughs> the Beastie Boys <laughs> were talented, though. They were. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, like uh, like, the like Van Boys. Halen was a cover band, like a Led Zeppelin cover band. I heard right, yeah. and 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 then they turned into Van Halen. Yeah, you know. So yeah. it's true. You got to start somewhere. Make up your own shit. Oh, yeah, the Be he, Beatles. Uh, Beatles were a, yeah. a cover band. Yeah, yeah. Stones were a cover band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a cover band. I mean, that's you got to start you, somewhere, right? Well, until someone says, you know what? You should write your own song. <laughs> yeah. And they go, oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. And they did. I think, but you know what? I'm I think, glad I know. I, I'm glad I, I wrote what I wrote because I was thinking, man, some of those songs, uh, it w I would go nuts too or get dementia if I had to play the same fucking song every night. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to re gotta remember all that shit? <laughs> no, you, it, it's, it, you can't forget it. You've done it so many times, like when Glenn Campbell, uh -huh. when he got dementia, he could he could do everything except forget the songs. Right. He could forget who his wife right. was or anybody Just else. Put him on a but stage. But he put him on a stage. He'll sing that fucking song and play <laughs> yeah. it note for note, yeah. and not miss a thing. Even thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. And then boom, he. he <laughs> can't. Yeah. Oh man, shouldn't laugh at that because we're all going to be there someday. Yeah. Knock on wood. <coughs> This guy was pretty close to predicting <coughs> exactly when this volcano would erupt. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nothing. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. I, a lot of these things, man. Uh, I feel like they're setups, but that obviously, I mean, you can't set up a volcano going off but you know these these uh these viral videos that are that are that are shown and then it's just like why would why was that i mean if it's like a security camera i get it right but it, why was that camera just on there at that time it's a question that we ask now <laughs> yeah. at least there's a camera Your man might have the star wars lego <laughs> yeah, set yeah, that's a lot star. of cameras huh? but can he chug a can sparkling water and not burp ears no, uh, what, what, what's Thank this you. guy here? Are we smoking? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I didn't hear what he said. Your man might have the Star Wars Lego set Death Star, but can he chug a sparkling water and not burp? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> See, I think that's fake. I think that's fake. Do you think that's fake? Cause look, look, why why was the garage door at that level? For that reason. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyways, they probably tried it with the garage door up, <laughs> and it never got a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and and then they said, "Well, let's try the garage door." So global warming. I bet property value. Yeah, they got to sell, good. sell, sell that shit. It'll be quite lower than lower than won't be. On this, they come up with a. Uh, they, oh no! Just kick everybody off. They the could just jack island. it up. Okay, it's a wrap. Everybody <laughs> off the island. Yeah, I don't Fuck off. Yeah.
We'll give it back to the Indians. You know, was New York New Amsterdam, right? Before that? Yeah, one time. Yeah. Why, why? Because the Dutch? The Dutch, the Dutch owned the, mm-hmm. that area. Well, the Dutch figured out how to do the dikes and keep the water out. So yeah. I think yeah. they'll. Did you like Amsterdam when you lived there? Loved Amsterdam. What did you like about it? A lot of water. <laughs> With the dikes? Well, you're living in the middle of a, of an, of a lake. Like, like you know. a marsh, right? No, no, no cement. Cement, yeah. nice uh, old buildings and, and canals. Did they have and Beautiful cana- boats, beautiful bicycles, beautiful. Cement. So there's a big pot smoking culture there. Was. Was. Well, it, well, it, did, it went back. But it's they, almost Nazi now. Yeah. Did they, did, did they have pot shops when you lived there? No, not, t- not legally. Not, oh, but underground places? No, they had barges. I was on a barge where... That, where the guy... Well, no, they would... They, they dealt... They've been dealing with, with weed since the beginning of time, you know. Yeah. I was going to tell, tell that story about, uh, you know, the word drugstore? Uh-huh. You want to go to the drugs? You want to get drugs, you go to the drugstore? Right. Where do you think the word drug came from? I don't know. Okay. It's a Dutch word. Drug. Is what they... And so what they used to do is take the weed and put them in the drug stores. Uh-huh. And so when the weed was dry, <laughs> you want to get your weed, you go to buy it at the drug store. But does drug mean like drug? It does now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. You know, the no, drug, that, it was that, to dry. Is that still, oh, so dr- 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 means, means to dry. Oh, there we go. There we go. I, knew, I knew there was <coughs> a, another part to it. You, you sound sick. You got a little cold? No, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, tomorrow I'll be older. Oh, so, you're, so you just got back from Vancouver. Yeah. Right? And uh, you're up there because? We sold our house. Yeah. But it's cool. It was cool. We passed it to the next generation, you know. So I, I heard it was well, Mom said that uh, you were in a pretty bad mood the whole time. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what she, I kind of gave that impression. <laughs> I gave her that impression, like, don't ask this guy for any fucking thing. <laughs> Just be glad you, you, you get out of his way. I, I asked her, like, why are you bringing him, man? You know he's not going to do shit. Like, he's just going to get in the way. No, and then, no, she needs me. No, what, what does she need you for? <laughs> to bitch at me. <laughs> no, there's one more thing she needed you for. Oh, to sign papers. No, to, to, to carry her, to put her uh, luggage up above on the plane. It's, it's the truth, right? But that's the only thing I can't do. And I had to do it. <laughs> she, she will not accept she that. She tortured me, man. The, coming home, she had every fucking heaviest thing she could find in the carry-on luggage. It was too. It was too heavy to put through the luggage. She will not accept the fact that you can't lift heavy shit anymore, huh? Well, I can, but I suffer. <laughs> you can do it. I have to go to the. Do- I have to go to rehab. <laughs> yeah, like physical therapy. Yeah, yeah. When you get old, man, Just you know what happens. Th- Parts of your body figures. Uh, I guess it's over. <laughs> and, and they quit. Well, they you just quit put on some you. CBD on it, and you're good. Oh right? no, no! You gotta keep fooling your body. You keep. That's what you got to go to the gym and you got to walk. You got to uh-huh. keep moving around. I do is- isometrics now. Uh-huh. Like, I don't sit still no matter where I am. All right. Well, let's let's look at this one. Okay. What's this? Verified Twitter account spread AI ge- <coughs> generated hoax of Pentagon explosion. Oh, this is the dark AI shit that could happen. I, I heard what the scary one that I heard is like, uh, hey, AI. Uh, Find every successful uh, hacking <laughs> thing online, create a, a, an automatic one, and go out and hack and get everyone's information. And I was like, shit, that's, that's pretty diabolical, man. But uh, Did they do it? <laughs> no, no, it was <laughs> hypothetical. Hypothetical. Yeah, where, were, where were you on, uh, on 9-11? Where was I on 9 11? <laughs> where was I? Home. I was home. Yeah. Shelby. That's when we had the bong business. Shelby was in Nashville, Tennessee. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. But that, no, that was, that, that was that was when we had the bong business, and I was thinking, I was starting to get worried, you know, about like the legal part of it or the illegal part of it, and then I thought, oh fuck, it's nine eleven. They're they're gonna be too busy with terrorist shit, <laughs> and then next thing you know, we're getting raided, and you're going to jail. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> Just when you think you're you're safe. It was all luck. I mean, or unluck. No, no luck. Everything's <laughs> luck. Earth six mass extinction event underway <laughs> science somewhere. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, the <clears throat> the insects population yeah. is like uh, is is depleted, <laughs> which is I, I, according <laughs> according to whom? Well, I, I th <laughs> have you been hiking lately? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at the ground a lot. <laughs> but do you notice less bugs? No. No. <laughs> less bugs. Oh, climate. Oh, the climate change. Oh, no more bugs. Oh. You know what creatures are. You know. I know. I know. Do you know, know what the creatures are? You know. The, you know. Everybody's job on Earth is. You know. What? Janitor. janitor. We're all janitors. We're all cleaning up other people's shit. And sometimes we're eating it because it's food. Uh -huh. But that's the only reason we're here in this physical universe on this earth Just to is to clean shit. up shit. I, I heard this saying once, uh, life's a shit sandwich. Yeah. The more bread you make, the less shit you eat. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> that and that's what one. it is. But that's, that's what everybody's job. Like when I found out why, you know, how cats, we were talking about cats, cats domesticated humans. It wasn't mm -hmm. the other way around. Because the humans were so filthy, they attracted the right kind of cat food in the terms of mice and rodents oh, and, I get and it. shit, you know? So the cats, they start hanging out with the humans. Hey, hey, the humans, cool, man. They'll pet you and shit, feed you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and all you gotta do is kind of, you know, be sexy with them, but it's not bad, you know? And, and be, be sexy with them? What the fuck, what are you well, talking about? Well, cats are always rubbing up against you, you know? And, <laughs> On your lap, and, you know, and they're always got their butt sticking out. <laughs> At least my cat you know. <laughs> and my dog too. They like their butt scratched. You know. <laughs> not their butthole. Their butt. Their the top of their. Of course, butt. not the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everywhere around. See. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Here's another conspiracy. Okay. Oh, oh, you used to, I remember, um, after an anti-vax figure dies, suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get started with him on the vaccine, man. That, that's why. <laughs> I don't want to get, I don't, I'm not political. I don't want to go there. No, I'll tell you about needles. No. Let me tell you about needles no. in the butt. <laughs> no, you got enough of them. No, no, no. kidding. But you know, you know what's freaky? Well, what? it's very freaky. What? Like uh, every month or every week, I get my blood drawn, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it just blows my mind <laughs> how fast those vials of blood fill mm -hmm. when I'm sitting there. It seems to be like a minute and a half. Yeah, and and that's light blood <laughs> going into these little things, mm -hmm. and it's the smallest little fucking needle you could ever find yeah. that that does that damage. So how fragile is this body? Pretty fragile. You get nailed Ooh. in the artery, it's over, like in 10 Ooh. seconds. And how we take this for granted. We're, yeah. but, but we are, but when you think about it, man, wow. That, that close to uh, yeah. the other side, it's constantly. True. It's true. All right. Okay, let's some, solve some world, world problems here. U.S. intelligence building system to track mass movement of people <laughs> around the world. I think that system's already in place. That's, it's that's called the good, iPhone, right? That's <laughs> a hell of an idea. Who thought of that? Let's figure hey, out. Hey, hey, whatever, whatever it takes to just get through that uh, TSA line, man, just like use my biometrics, I, like whatever makes it man, faster, right? Hey, going through the airport now, you're in line. <laughs> I love it. We, just keeps moving. You know, we got clear. And the problem with clear is your eyes are so fucked up <laughs> they, they don't the biometrics don't even work oh no they work better then <laughs> but no no because it's defects 
That's what they see, the defects. Oh, they, they, they finally what, learn the defects? That's what tells them who you are. <laughs> because we'd go in front of that machine and you'd be like, okay, stand forward, <laughs> stand back. They'd, they'd take the picture and they'd be like, oh, sorry, sir, it's not working here. Can you use your fingers? And they're no, like, oh, not. here's your fingers. Oh, those aren't working either. Okay, <laughs> show me your ID. That, that, that hasn't happened for a while. <laughs> that hasn't happened for a while. I, right. I have fun with my colostomy bag, though. Oh. Going through the Let's talk airport, philosophy bags. especially especially in, in in like Argentina and stuff. Like All that. right, I'm going to tell the story about how uh, when you had the colorectal surgery, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the doctors did so so they, they they cut out your your butthole, right? Mm -hmm. And they sewed it up. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and then now you have a colostomy bag, and I remember. You were kind of bummed about it, of course. And I said, Dad, you're... I like the word, bummed about it. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. so, 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 so I was trying to cheer you up. And I said, Dad, you, you're at that age. You're probably going to be shitting your pants anyway. So, <laughs> so, so like, at least you'll know it'll be right there in the back. <laughs> and you looked at me like, yeah, you might be right, son. But yeah, then... There are, well, there's always an upside. But then... But then then uh, then the guy says, okay, well, look, they're taking a look at you, and they're looking at the stitching. He says, oh, yeah, okay, we've got a little problem here. And they said, okay, um, okay, Paris, you're going to have to take, a, <laughs> take some gauze here and stick it in this hole <laughs> and then change it every, every day about two or three times a day. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I had a, I, but, but he said something first. And you know what? He, he, he said, he, he said Paris, you're number one son, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. He, Come here. You, you know, now have a job. You know, you know, you know what he said, too? He, <coughs> I think he looked at my mom and was like, okay, forget about her. Okay, Paris. <laughs> she wasn't there. Yeah, she, she didn't want anything to do with oh, it. No. Like, yeah, she's yeah. like, you're on your own. She didn't want me to drop me off at the hospital. I know. I know she was in denial. Did She's not still in want denial. to go near that. Place. But I, but I had to do that, man. And then you, you I wouldn't even touch you. You go, oh, 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 oh. No, you got little cure. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, well, it's so And it wasn't even touching you. But we made it through. We made it through. That was a rough time, man. But you did it. You toughed it out. Yeah. And I remember. Uh, when you first got cancer, all these fucking hippies out there were trying to say, hey, don't do what the doctor tells you, man. Like, just just fucking take that oil, dude, and just, you don't, do, and then go to this guy and then take a healer. And I was like, I, I said, dad, don't listen to these fucking people. <laughs> They're going to fucking get you killed because the one cancer doctor, he was very convincing. He says, he says, you know, you know, all those people, all those famous people that went and did alternative medicine. Yeah. What do you say about them? Gone. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead. Gone. Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, and then you, you were like, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Dennis Hopper, all of them. Yeah, yeah. even even uh, Bob Marley. Yeah. You know, he had yeah. it in his toe. Yeah. And he didn't want to get his toe amputated. Yeah. All right, well, let's cheer, Black <laughs> cheer up. Black holes might be giant structures made out of space time. Now, that's racist. <laughs> you know, I... I love listening to physics podcasts like about black holes and stuff like that just before bed because like it's it's so mind bending that it just kind of like puts me to sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I watched that. I, I like that. Yeah. Nova. Yeah. 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 I like that. All right. All right. Bannon books. <laughs> oh, duh. Duh. You think? Ba book bans are discriminatory and, and bad, bad, bad book bans. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Bad book bans. Well, you know what? Books are. I don't know. If books are selling now. Who reads a book? Every everybody's got a phone, including that's kids. True. That's true. Including kids. <laughs> Shit, I wasn't even. Uh, we never even thought of using a what, phone. What was the most? Um, Influential book you ever read, other than the Bible? Boom, 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 boom. Probably. You mean fiction? Anything, yeah. Influential. I guess Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Yeah, yeah. Because he always had a little, uh, uh, little lessons, yeah. life lessons at yeah. the end of everything. Yeah. 
so in the beginning, I, I was a literature freak. I loved literature in school. Yeah. I, I, that, that, that got my interest. I didn't start reading until after school. <laughs> and then, then, I, then, I, then, I hit it, then I hit the books and, and read all the classics. Yeah. Usually when you get older, you don't get a reading Jones unless you do some prison time. You know? <laughs> Is that the case? <laughs> What'd you read in prison? Uh, salt. Uh, the novel about salt or the story of salt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was Yeah, they fought wars over salt. Oh, yeah. That was the refrigerator. Yeah. Salt trivia, anything in England ending with which, like Greenwich, uh -huh. means there's a salt mine there. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Nor Norwich, Greenwich. Oh. They're all salt mines. And that's where you could, you could build that's a, where a they society. Used to, that's where they used to uh, get salt because salt was the money. Salt was like well, gold because it was preservative. It was a pre it well, preserve the it, meat. It, you could eat it. It would preserve. Uh, I think food. it was. It wasn't for taste. It was for preservation and, and taste. Yeah, but <laughs> that's like, why Italian food, man. You try to cook Italian food without salt, or any food yeah. without salt. That's there's that's a little controversial subject because uh, there's a lot of people online that that are from kind of uh, other countries that think that think Italian food is, is overrated and under-seasoned. What, what Italian food have they been eating? You don't, you don't buy that? <laughs> really good Italian food. <laughs> really good food anywhere. Yeah. It barely needs anything, you know, That's in true. terms of salt. If, you have, if, you ha if, your, if your ingredients are just super oh. fresh and delicious, you, you got it. Now, if you want a fool... People. <laughs> then you, that's right. So maybe those countries where they don't have the good fresh ingredients and they got to pile up a lot of uh, Ooh, a lot of yeah. seasoning on there. Oh yeah. That's depends on who your what, customer. What, is. what are they hiding? Huh? Yeah. All the, you know, your your dad was good at uh, hiding. Oh, uh, he grew up. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, you, that's why Shelby to this day doesn't like Chinese because <laughs> how he cooked. Oh yeah, the Chinese <laughs> family. <laughs> Because <laughs> he, because oh. he would take some old ass meat, right? Like, no, no. You told me that when he would go in, in, in to the butcher, like he would he would buy the cheapest shit you could get, right? Buy. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was literally cases take free, and that's what he took. They would take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made you stronger though, right? <laughs> like I hope. Well, you know, mom made up. You know, yeah. my mom was a uh, put a little soy sauce, nah, ginger. I mean, Pop did what he had to. He was a, he was a gambler. You know, he he survived. What was that one dish you <laughs> talked about with like tomatoes? Oh, <laughs> it's uh, all, the my, the rest of the family. It's her favorite dish: <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> celery, beef. But it's not, it's, it's not fried properly. More like because the way they would cook it instead of. Doing it in the wok, uh -huh. you know, probably no wok. Put it on a frying pan, fill it with fucking water. You know, oh, boil the meat. That's basically <laughs> boil and and the tomatoes and all that. And it's so like, it's it's beef. It's what was the dish called? Be like beef and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I never ate it, so I, I don't know. And by the oh, I, I that was my least favorite thing. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? This reminds me how space companies plan to build roads and bases on. You know what? You know someone who's been to space. I'm, I'm going to see if you can remember. Uh, Rico? My little buddy? No, Tito. Tito. Tito, yeah. I call him your, Rico. <laughs> your neighbor Tito. was one of the first guys, yeah. and he went to space. With the Russians. With the Russians in like. <coughs> yeah. In the ni 90s, right? Yeah. Uh, he, he, he bought his way in. He bought <laughs> so 50 grand, something like that. That's, <laughs> but that's it? Or a million? I don't know. I think it was like a million. It was not, a, not fifty so, grand. I don't know. <laughs> not fifty grand. It's Russians. The man. Russians need cash, but not, not fifty grand's not going to cut it. Uh, okay. Okay. Are you going to make it to space? Fuck no. <laughs> you don't want to get that space coke? Oh shit! <laughs> I got. If you got internet, man, you're in space. <laughs> your television set will put you on fucking or, or Mars. Just, just eat some of those space cakes. You you go to space. <laughs> yeah, with the movies. <laughs> no, I I realized. Oh, what did I spill? Oh, my, I almost spilled my coffee. No, I uh, I, I like where I'm at, man. <laughs> oh, the oldest recorded kiss. How did you rec how do we 
record a ca- oh in the Sumerian language in text. Oldest recorded man for us. I I would think that kissing before oral hygiene. I mean, maybe you're just used to it, but that that would have been funky, huh? It depends what they just ate. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I guess you get used to the smells, right? Like, oh yeah, you miss them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, those smells. Do do do. Google, what are they going to plan to inactive account? Google plan. Google's plan to delete inactive accounts shows the internet isn't forever. Of course. What is? You've been you've been a Google from the start. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Gmail. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't use, or I do them, but I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you you're you're pretty good, surprisingly. Vice News. That that I heard they're uh, bankrupt. Vice News. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. No. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's recording all the other shit. You know. Boy, and I've been trying to make oh I'm a island boy. I I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a get key white going. You're gonna like keep that gun. I'll be just staring at the sun. I'm just out full gazing. I'm like pull where I'm staying. Oh oh speaking of uh island boys, you, you were an island boy once. You uh we went to Jamaica. Yeah man. That, tell, tell me how you, I re, this is a good story, how you, you scored some weed. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, they, we, the hotel we stayed at, they showed us this area. And they said, see that area over there? Yeah, it's called Steer Mountain. Uh-huh. That's where all the locals hang out. You don't want to go there at night. So that was. Uh, that, and, that was and so then, you know, we went to the beach and. And there's people, all sorts of weird people, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of beggars, you know, cripples and right, right. shit, you know, beggars. Like, like organized beggars? No, well, everything's organized Cause, you know, in, in, in their own way, you know. Yeah, right? yeah. But there's no, on, yeah, on the, so, yeah, it's organized. On the face of it, it looks like they're just beggars, but then you delve deep well, into it. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, so, you, so we went to Steer Mountain at night, same beggars, only they're not fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they got their teeth in, they got their hat on, they got their shit going. <laughs> they're, they're not, they don't have to limp they're, anymore. They're, they're not on stage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they, they got their prosthetic <laughs> limbs on. And so we're, we're there, and, and, I, and I asked this one beach boy, I said, you know, I, can you get me some weed? You know, how much you want? I said, you know, a couple of bucks, you know, <laughs> five bucks. Okay. Who's the president? Byron. Who? Byron. Say what's up to Byron. What's up, Byron? I'm the boardwalk king. Let's see a spell. Cody Allo on the concrete, motherfucker. Oh. Hey, yo, I'm Coney Island's finest over here. Yeah. With all the Coney Island's finest, we yeah. doing things right, you hear me? Hello. And we knocking niggas' grandmothers off their fucking skates, you all? Bing bong. What I'm saying, right off her fucking socks, you hear me? If you see this hard hat at your crib, <laughs> uh, Just know I made her ribs, you hear me? Yo, bud! Get hacked? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Oh. Oh, New York, man, at one time. It was it, it was a jungle back in the 60s. In fact, Cheech, Cheech had a great bit. He says, if you're in New York and you want to go through the ghetto, you... Uh, Put your hand in your pocket, and you give a look like you're looking for someone to kill. <laughs> and you walk fast, And you right? just walk and, and look, and look at people, and, <laughs> and then you just keep walking to where you want to go. <laughs> One time I was at the uh, Apollo Theater with mm-hmm. Bobby Taylor and the band mm-hmm. Kubas. Mm-hmm. We're going to play the Apollo. It was a big thrill with Patti LaBelle and the Blue Bells. Mm-hmm. And so we went down there for rehearsal. <laughs> and, and I'm walking down the street, and all of a sudden I see a guy with a, a guitar holding like he was wants to hit me, and he's come, like coming toward me with it, big, big ass guitar. So I, I st- 
jumped out of the way and I looked behind me and there's a guy behind me with a knife. <laughs> Holy <laughs> big shit. Fort, big ass hunting knife. It wasn't no, it like was a, a like big a bo- ass. Bowie knife? Like, like a, a big ass Bowie knife. And he's coming at the guy <laughs> and the guy swings at him with a guitar, misses. The guy kind of jugs him in the ass and, and that guy took off running. Holy shit. And, uh, and they went chasing through there and people did not fucking do anything. No one looked. No, no one noticed. It. <clears throat> there's two. There's two things that kind of terrify me, mm. that uh, that happen in the big cities, and one is is like the uh, the fifty stitches, you know, like the the, the New York gang members. They'll carry uh, like an exacto knife, and it, and if you fuck with them, they'll or if they want to fuck with you, they'll just slash your face. Oh yeah. Give, give you Razor. fifty. Give you fifty stitches. That one freaks me out because you have you have you get reminded of that. You know, every time you look in the mirror, you're reminded. I of knew people who who had that scar. Who had slashes, yeah. Yeah, that one and the other one that's just just terrifying is the is the uh, you know the the South Asian jilted lover, and they throw the the acid on the girl's oh, face. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it gets pretty viral. That one. Those two just, and then the, the, that young girl well, that, or that woman has an acid face her whole life, like. Yeah, no, there's, oh, man. there's been pretty, pretty, pretty cruel shit oh, going on in, that's, the, that's, in yeah. the big city. But New York, man, poof. Robbie, my daughter, when she was a model there, uh-huh. she hung with Basquiat, is that his name? Basquiat. Basquiat, she hung with him and Andy Warhol. She was in that crowd. You know? She's wishing she had one of those sketches today, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was, uh, you know, part of the Warhol gang. And, that. Uh-huh. and so she'd call me and we'd be talking on the phone. She said, just a minute, Dad, I got to get on the floor. There's, shoot- there's gunfire. <laughs> 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 and she would go sit on the floor. And, okay, so where were we? <laughs> and we're talking. And you're like, oh, okay, uh, be careful, hon. And then I'm taking her for dinner uh-huh. around the same time, mm-hmm. and we're walking from the uh, very swanky hotel on Fifth Avenue, uh, Sherry Netherlands. Uh-huh. Very nice hotel. We're walking, and we're going to go eat, and all of a sudden there's a dead body laying in the road, but it was snowy, kind of snowy. I walked around. She literally walked over <laughs> the body <laughs> and said, I'm so hungry. Where do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> she literally not only didn't Des- see, she didn't notice it. Desensitized, huh? Totally. Wow. Totally, because you're you know, it's like you're in the woods. But I heard the parties were fun. The parties? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, can you imagine back then? Yeah. Studio fifty four, all that shit. First time I went to Studio fifty four, I didn't go inside. Why? It creeped me out. I I, I, I disco's always creeped me out. Uh huh. Because I'm a dancer, so if I'm going to go to, to a dance, I like to dance. But disco, you're, 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 <laughs> you you know, you're not a disco dancer. And, but, but, you know, you're doing your. You want to do the jive. Well, you're, you're doing no. You're doing your. So where where are you from? <laughs> you know, uh, that's cool. Yeah, well, I'm a stockbroker. Or are you uh, doing the? Hey, hey, meet me in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so I, I said I'll, I'll wait outside, and. Uh, and while I was out there, man, I watched the, these two beggars, two homeless, work uh-huh. together. And one would come up and be really ignorant, you know. Hey, give me some money, yeah, fuck, you know. <laughs> and, and the other guy said, hey, get over, get over, go away from these people. Here, just, there, you get over there. And he'd push them out of the way. And sometimes uh-huh. I, I got to apologize for my, my, <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank they, they're you. running a whole bit. Oh, huh? fuck, they ran a bit. <laughs> uh, you know. And then finally the doorman is told him to fuck off. And they, yeah, bum, something like that, you know. <laughs> and he walks by me and he shows me the body he's got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, look yeah, look at this. Look at this stack. A big, big run. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Her. We used to go to uh, 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 our own L.A. had a, uh, what was that called? The private club that. Uh, anyway, uh, Jack Ni- Mick- Jack Nicholson owned and. Yeah, I remember that. I think Radon took me there. I yeah, just, yeah. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it'll come. That was the hot spot, right? Well, that's where I, I met uh, uh, 
Prince. Oh, yeah. I saw Prince. Did he speak to you? Weird, man. He was so tiny. Yeah. I felt like I was going to step on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that weird. He looks so big on stage and in the videos. He's tiny. Yeah. He's tiny. Yeah. And he's miniature. And, and so what did he say to you? We didn't talk. We didn't. Oh, we you didn't, just saw him? No, I just saw him. I saw him. The only one that uh, talked to me was Madonna. Oh, Madonna talked to you. <laughs> in, a, in a way, we were talking to one of her dancers. Uh -huh. um, one, one guy with a one name. Anyway, he, well, we were Cheech and Chong at the time, uh -huh. so we were famous in the Latino community. Right. You know? and, uh, and we're talking to him. What was his name? Anyway, uh, Madonna walks up. She says, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, bye. Nice talking to you guys. Hey, yeah, see you later. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, celebrities, superstars can break your heart if you let them, for sure. Well, I mean, you think you're, they're so important to you, you know. When you get a chance, you're so excited to meet them. You're really nice. Like you're really good at not breaking a I've fan's heart. All the time. Yeah, but but in in my experience, um. Just leave those people alone because. Oh, yeah. it, it, well, I remember Kareem acted really weird. Yeah, there. yeah. I, I, you told me all these stories about Kareem, and I, and I was like, oh, there's Kareem. I'm gonna go introduce myself, and he was, he didn't, he was ignorant, not interested. He says, Who's yeah, ignorant? yeah, I know Tommy. Yeah, and then he just started reading his paper. <laughs> he's like, okay, but then I heard he's he's a pretty grumpy guy in general. Unless you got beautiful black daughters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like then, I had. Yeah, then he, then and he's then all like, of a sudden he was Mister Sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking horny guy. <laughs> we, I don't know if I told you this when we when we did uh, the hundred year anniversary at Paramount, uh -huh. and, and they were taking pictures, and everybody's there, all the stars yeah. are there, <laughs> and there's a little group of people, and there's Tom Cruise and Marty Scorsese. And uh -huh. Robert De Niro is kind of standing around, you know. And I know Marty uh, Scorsese from the After uh, Hours. After Hours movie. So I said, hey, Marty, what's up, man? What are you talking? And De Niro's there, and he said, he said something. And I said, oh, man. Uh, what I, I, we got around to it. Anyway, I reminded De Niro that he was, he was dating my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that like his uh, what do you call that movie? He was in the ground. You know that movie that uh, he plays an old man or grumpy old man. Or oh, grumpy old man, yeah. Or with Billy Crystal, he's like he's anyway. He's he's that that character. Analyze this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or one of those anyway. Yeah, but the one to you told me a story that that uh, when you met Jack Nicholson and it was oh. in, the, in the back room. And uh, and at, that that kind of and then you that that you experienced what I experienced. Oh yeah, yeah. Got shot down. But like oh, the the, the uh, Paramount shoot no it, no but no, but tell this tell down. tell the Jack Nicholson story. Well, that was at Lou Adler's house, uh -huh. and he he threw a lot of parties. Well, right? what, it, what it was the Beatles, uh, the Stones, all the rockers were in town. Carol King. Uh, was that me? <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. So Carol King. Uh, yeah, everybody. Rod Stewart. Like I don't know. It was Grammys or so, some some event was there. Anyway, Lou Adler's having a party, and and we're kind of be, he's introducing Cheech and Chong to the world. Uh -huh. We just had Dave's not here, right. and so it's a huge party, you know, at Lou's house in Stone Canyon. And so I walk out there and uh, said to Lou. Hey, where can I smoke this? He said, oh, go in my bedroom. Okay. So I go in the bedroom, and I light up this big old stinky old Mexican joint, you know, uh -huh. big old Cincinnati's. Yeah. Really good, but stinky, you yeah. know. Kind of that, you know, that, did that cat piss in the house again? You know, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. smell. And I'm, I'm smoking, and I look over, and oh, fuck, there's John Lennon sitting on the floor behind the bed. John Lennon, no. So I walked over and handed, offered him the joint, uh -huh. and he goes, "Oh no, thanks, man." He says, uh, "I can't smoke. No, I'm having immigration problems." 
And so I said, oh, <laughs> okay. So, so I started talking away, and then Rod Stewart walks in, and he goes right to the mirror, and he starts fluffing up his hair, <laughs> fucking with his hair again. So I walked over and offered, Rod, hey, Rod, what's up, man? Want a hip? Oh, no, no, thanks, man, my, my voice, my mm -hmm. voice, you know. <laughs> so it felt kind of weird, you know, so I, so I kind of put out the joint, mm -hmm. you know. I was done smoking anyway, and I'm walking out of the bedroom, and boom, I run right into Jack Nicholson. I, mm -hmm. And I think he probably smelled the joint. <laughs> he was probably coming to get some. And, and he had just finished a movie called uh, uh, some kind of... You can't handle the truth. One of those. No, not that one. Uh, one, uh, one of those movies. You know, he just uh, like five easy pieces or something. No, like no, that? no. He was an army guy with a short haircut. Uh huh. Because they said, Jack, man, I said I saw your movie, man. I loved it. But tell me one thing, man. That one scene when you're in the mirror, you're combing your hair. That scene must have lasted ten minutes, man. Uh huh. And you got no fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> I said, did you improv that, or is that written? Uh -huh. And he kind of put his hand up and said, excuse me. <laughs> and he pushed me aside, that was and it. he walked into the bedroom. <laughs> you were nobody. <laughs> and I thought, uh, uh, love your movies, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had no time for men. He's like, I'm here for the pussy. I'm here for the women. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Especially when he doesn't know who the fuck I am. Right, right. <laughs> See, after he learned, it's like, it was like De Niro, you know, when he took out Ray Don. Uh -huh. I did you tell you that story. Wait, tell me, tell me. So did, did you meet Jack again after you were famous? Or, oh, or, or we hung it? with him. Oh, okay. Well, we became buddies. In oh, fact, oh. Jack became our chauffeur of... You know, whenever we were going to the Laker game or uh -huh. something, Lou would say, "Oh, why don't you guys ride with Jack?" Oh, you uh, get a he catch thanks. a ride with Jack. Thanks, thanks, Lou. Oh no, he, the maniac, man. He drove drove fast. Well, he was actually responsible for basketball Jones. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the, there was a Love Jones song out. I got a Love Jones. So it was a, it was a, ra a race to to. Uh, no, so what happened? We're we're going to. Uh, the Laker game at mm -hmm. the forum, and, uh, and we're going to ride with Jack. And Cheech is in the back seat, and I'm in the shotgun. Mm -hmm. And f there's traffic like crazy. So Jack drives on the wrong side of the road on Manchester Avenue. <laughs> he's going to get to those. Uh, for about he's going to get to those floor seats for about a mile. <laughs> yeah. And then he cuts across the, the thing and gets into the parking lot that way. And she's just nervous in the background, and he's singing, I got a basketball, Joe. Got a basketball, Joe. <laughs> and we finally get to the game, man. It was like white knuckling all the way. You know? yeah, yeah. It was crazy. That's a good story. All right, well, that's a wrap. It's about time. <laughs>